Hey everyone, Dan Bernard here with another tutorial and today I'm going to be addressing a question that I've gotten asked before which is how do you do an EQ sweep? Now when people talk about EQ or equalization we're talking about using a plugin to identify and isolate certain frequencies within a waveform. Now when you're using a tool like the parametric equalizer in Adobe Audition you can actually dial in pretty specifically low frequencies, mid frequencies, high frequencies, and either boost or reduce them depending on what you think sounds best for your project. Sometimes finding that specific frequency is kind of tricky, so I'm going to show you how I use the parametric equalizer to sweep through all the frequencies in the waveform, find one that is problematic, and then reduce it. So right now in my project I'm working on a piece of audio from a interview that I acquired recently and it's in a fairly echoey room. I think there's also an air conditioning unit uh, on in the background, which sometimes that can't be helped. But I'm gonna try to do my best to EQ some of those frequencies out so we can focus on the voice and what's being communicated therein. So to give you guys an understanding of what we're dealing with right off the bat, let's take a listen to what we have to work with. And I'm just gonna be talking about my own experience uh, living life and dealing with the world and and I'm just gonna be talking about my so there you go you can kinda of hear what we are hoping to eliminate in this waveform first things first we're gonna go over to our effects rack go to filter and EQ and click on parametric equalizer and by default it comes up with the custom settings but let's just go ahead and bring it to default so with the bands that we've selected here we can see a few different things that we can play with the frequency here, that's just the, the hertz that that frequency operates in. So you can click and actually drag that around if you want to change that. Um, if you go up and down, you're actually adjusting the gain. And so you can either boost or reduce that frequency. And down here is the key or the width. And if I increase that, you see it starts to make a point. And this is where we can really dial in the frequency that we find problematic and then either boost or reduce it depending on what's appropriate for our audio. So I'm going to go ahead and change the Q or width value to 12 so it makes this nice peak here and now I'm just going to play the audio and while it's playing I'm going to sweep through the frequencies here until I start hearing sounds that I don't really like and then once I find that frequency range I'll just reduce the gain and hopefully that cleans up the audio a little bit so let's try and do some sweeping and, and I'm just gonna be talking about my own experience uh, living life and dealing with the world and and I'm just gonna be talking about my own experience uh, living life and dealing with the world right. and, and I'm so just gonna be talking about I've isolated a frequency here reduced it by negative 16 decibels let's start listening and I'll toggle this effect on and off so you can hear the difference between and how it sounds as recorded versus what we've done with EQing that certain frequency out. The world and, and I'm just going to be talking about my own experience uh, living life and dealing with the world and, and I'm just going to be talking about my own experience uh, living life and dealing with the world and, and I'm just going to be talking about my own experience uh, living life and dealing with the world. Alright, so we found a frequency within the 100 hertz area that uh, maybe may be attributed to that air conditioning unit and that kind of low hum so drop that down a little bit and to me it sounds like the voice is much more present now much more clear so obviously there are a lot of variables at play that can affect which frequencies you need to adjust within your project hopefully this tutorial gives you guys a little more fundamental knowledge on how to do EQ sweeps and how to use it effectively so that you can isolate those problematic frequencies in your project and reduce them so that you get something that you're happy with. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If there are any questions or comments about anything that I've covered or something you want to see me cover in the future, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once again, my name is Dan Bernard and thanks for stopping by.